A North Dakota law passed last year and upheld by the Supreme Court demands voters on tribal lands present a valid ID with an actual street address. The law is seen to have one purpose, keep Native Americans from voting. What I learned when I was here two years ago, it's two years ago tonight, October 27th, that Standing Rock North Treaty Camp was swept clean. You can see the people were arrested with armor and automatic machine guns pointed at our brothers and sisters. To show the world who the native people are. You showed them that you're here and you've been here and you're strong and you're resilient and you're peaceful and powerful and you can stand down any violence. And here we are today with another kind of assault on the native people. This is a much more secret, insidious, quiet assault. It's an assault to take away your voice at the very moment that the world needs to hear you the most. And if you didn't want to go out and vote, I wouldn't blame you one damn bit. Because I know what a lousy shape you've gotten by this system. But that said, this is another moment to stand for Standing Rock. This is another moment for the world to see the power of the native people. This is another moment for you to come out of the darkness that you've been put into and shine back into the light. This is the native century. Let's seize this moment. Let's make it count. Let's make some phone calls. 